Alright, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at ratios. And all a ratio is, is it's a comparison of two things, and it can be anything in the entire world, using numbers, like most things in math do. So it just compares two things using numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create just my own problem here. Just create my own problem. So I'm going to put some stone blocks down, and I'm going to put some diamond blocks down. And the question might read, what is the ratio of stone to diamond? All right? The ratio of stone to diamond. We're going to compare these two things using numbers. So what I'm going to do to compare these two things using numbers, I'm simply going to count the number of stone blocks and the number of diamond blocks. So if we count the stone, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We have five stone, and then we've got one, two, diamond. Now the question was the ratio of stone blocks to diamond. So we've, we've established we've got five to two. Five stone blocks to two diamond blocks. So to answer the question, we would write out the ratio, and there's a couple different ways to write it. I'm just going to focus on one way here. We would write out the number five because there are five stone blocks. We're going to put the colon symbol, and then we're going to put the number two, and that signifies the number of diamond blocks. So we would read this 5, and then in math we read this colon as the word 2, 2. So 5 to 2. And there are 5 stone blocks to 2 diamond blocks. All we did, we counted the number of stone blocks because the question asked the number of stone blocks to the number of diamond blocks, the ratio of stone to diamond. And then we counted the number of diamond blocks, and there were 2. So we have a 5 to 2 ratio. Now, like I said, you can compare anything using a ratio. Any two things can be compared using a ratio. So this next problem, I want to compare the number of torches to the number of anvils. Torches to anvils. All right. Again, all we're going to do is we're going to count the number of torches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and the number of anvils, one, two, three, four. So the ratio of torches to anvils is just seven to four. Seven torches, four anvils. One thing to keep in mind, I asked the question, what is the ratio of torches to anvils? Well, what if I had flipped that question, I said, what is the ratio of anvils to torches? Right? And that it, there is a difference. The ratio of torches to anvils is written differently than the ratio of anvils to torches. And I'll show you. So this 7 to 4 ratio, this says there's 7 torches, there's 4 anvils. Well, if I switched it and I said, what is the ratio of anvils to torches? Well, because I'm asking for anvils first, I have to put the number of anvils first. So I have 4 anvils and I have 7 torches. There is a difference. 7 to 4 ratio is my ratio of torches to anvils. 4 to 7 is my ratio of anvils to torches. You couldn't say to somebody, after looking at this, well, there's a 7 to 4 ratio of anvils to torches, because there's not. There's a 7 to 4 ratio of torches to anvils. So just keep in mind, there is a difference in the way that, that you phrase your ratio, the way that you type it out or write it out, and the way that, that it actually looks. What comes first, which number comes first, is important. So just keep that in mind. So in summary, all a ratio is. It is a comparison of two things using numbers. And the notation for a ratio, if we want to write it this way, and like I said, there's a couple different ways to write a ratio, but this one way that I've showed you in the video is you put the number of something, so um, for the first one we had five stone blocks, then you put a colon in between it, and then you put the number of the second thing. So if we keep using our first example, the number of diamond blocks was 2. And when we read that, that is simply a 5 to 2 ratio. All 